Hello and welcome to movie review here on the stream of Freedom Europe. Guess what guys? Weekend is around the corner. So get your popcorn and a cool glass of wine for amazing reviews here on this amazing show guys. How interesting thing for you today. Guess what? Talking about the one and only mm. Orisha. Orisha means crazy. That is the film we are reviewing today here on this program. Orisha is an amazing film in Yoruba epic movie for that matter, written, produced and directed by Odoladi Apikola, who is an amazing uh, actor in the movie industry. Talking about this film, one thing I love about this film is the story of the film. It has a lot of moral lessons to be learned in this film. It teaches more about moderate love. Amazing. And one thing you will learn from this film is there's a pride growing before you fall. That is the essence and the main lesson to be learned in this film. Talking about the cast. Hey. Amazing cast with wonderful acting skills. We have people like Odunladi Adekola, who is one of the cast as well. We have Femi Adebayo, we also have Shafi Belo, we have the amazing Dele Odule, we have Muyuwa Ademola, and all the amazing cast in this film, guys. You need to see this film that I'm talking about. What is the film all about? You know, there is this king that begins to lose respect for the gods of the land and also for his people. And the quest for that is putting the kingdom into, you know, risk. So for that reason, the queen has to fight some enemy, some people to be able to recover the land back. It's what they say, when you get married to a good woman, it's time by your side to fight all your battles. That's what this film is all about. So let's take a look at the thriller of this film. We'll be right back. Nya! <laughs> Welcome back. That really fantastic, isn't it? But I thought about this film, I found somehow a little tricky. She's talking about the makeup. You know, at the starting point of the film, the initial in the play of the film, talking about the makeup, the mark in the faces of the king and some of the people, it was not really, you know, visible at the initial stage. But later on in the film, we now saw that the mark it now came out properly well, so I think that's a little bit mistake there in the starting of the film. Now talking about the king, the king on that film is actually someone that is very, very, you know, very, very you know, authoritative, you know, he's so harsh on people. We didn't see much of that in the film. The people have given us some flashbacks to see all those parts, but never mind, the film is a good film, nice storyline, and well written for us, and I love that part of the film. Now, to rate this film for me, I'll just give the film, let's say, 7 out of 10, yes. A nice story, wonderful cast, amazing action skills, nice costume, nice effect. I give it 7 over 10. So, my question is, what will you rate this film? Say 1 to 10, what will be your rate for this film? So, just drop your comment on the comment section below. Let us see what your comment and review is all about. So, that is all we have for you today here on the movie review. So, keep following us on all our social media pages our Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, and please subscribe on our YouTube channel. Don't don't forget to like, share, comment, and tag five persons to win fabulous prize. Talking about five thousand naira, I know you've been. So pick up your phone and start with the network right now. So I'm ready almost here on the corner. My name is Michael Young. Yeah. Have a fabulous weekend and bye for now. Welcome to another exciting one here on the e corner right here on Street Africa where we get you all the latest juicy trending story guys as you hope there on this corner I got to cover here and I am your host my name is Michael Young and on the show today we have amazing story ranging from Philip Fowler Feel the final back on the social media. We have our Katrina is back on Instagram, giving all the amazing tweets and sound there for us. We also have the great one, mm. the All Star season of April 9th. Right? You can come to get to watch that on the show. Just you don't know. We also have Doyin. 
the new head of house, in case you don't know. So these are many other exciting stories we have in store for you. But first of all, let's go over the break and play some videos so and when we come back, we get all the stories in detail, so don't go nowhere. <laughs> Well, you welcome back from the big breather spread on my first story. Fino Final is back on the social media guy. We meet this guy and girl for five so many years now. He's been behind the scenes in one or two before the other. Well, yesterday being the 28th of August, he came back on the social media with a picture where he's carrying his little baby called the child. Come on, he's now a father. Come on, guys. He said the reason why he's not been on the social media because he's trying to do one or two things and get into the marriage class. The conversation to be the final and conversation for the new music that we will drop in on Friday. If you're waiting, you know, just get what that new sound you have to talk for us. Now we create father, something different, and new sound for us, guys. So, at least for the first time, we have something new to be on the social media, not everything is happening. So, congratulations once again to the final. And moving on to the next story, Katrina is back on the Instagram page. I mean, just you don't know who Katrina is. She is one of the former housemates of the Big Brother. You know, every this year, uh, he loves. She loved the bottom of cancer. It's all about kids. You know, Joan, he died of cancer. I'm very sorry about that. But yes, last night, he's back on the social media with a picture that is causing a lot of promotion on the social media. Guys, you need to see this picture, guys. I'm telling you, she's back with an amazing thing. And she told us she's coming back with an amazing show of her of Katrina Reality. You said something different, something crazy. Trust Katrina, whatever she is, guys, give us amazing content every time on the social media. And I'm itching my ears and my eyes to see what he has in store for us for this new amazing reality TV show, guys. I can't wait for that to drop on the very associates. Now, moving on to our one and only Blessing CEO. You know, pretty my official life, you know, yesterday we did a podcast, we mentioned something. He said, we have good BBL and we have the worst BBL. In the process, he now mentioned Blessing CEO as one of the world's BBL. And he trust Blessing CEO and she came back. He said, what do you mean? They call me. My own BBL is from Brazil. So guys, I guess you don't have different types of BBL from Brazil, from New York, from Lagos, even at the but hopefully, I don't know about that. But he said, she said her own is from Brazil and her, her own BBL is top notch. And he said that, uh, uh, please, my, please be careful what you say. Yes. Details now. Yeah, you're not going to get all the videos. Why not call me call the colleague and your one after the other? It don't make sense, guys. If you love and say you like, and I don't see some things on that. Please be careful of the God bless and see you when you enter your home case, like you don't have to trust me. And I'm not too easy about it. Now jump out to the big brother Nigeria All-Stars, guys. In case you've not been following the trend of the season, is the All-Star season. The sum of 120 million era is up for grabs. Now, that's a bit to this week. Don't forget that last week Sunday we have double eviction where we had Tolani badge and also Fraud left the house. Then this week on Monday we have the new HOH game. So what about this HOH game? It's becoming more intense and more very interesting. So this one they were pegging to various groups to build the tallest power. At the end of the first round, they have six person who goes to the last stage. And after that, guess what? Cross and Doin Batsu for the last stage. At the point, that is the position between Cross and Doin. Doin to Cross, please just give this for me. Let me read. Whatever I want to do, just to make me a fight out of So, so Cross that's okay. You give it to BFF for me to step down. It's no problem. And uh, Cross that together. So it becomes the new HOH. Alright, the new BFF for this week is Neo, Kim Opera, Messi and Cross. I mean, those guys are very lucky. One of the good things about this is you have access to the head of house lounge, the gym, and also all that needs to be some credit for this week. So, now about the Black Evil, there's a twist in the Black Evil for this week. Yes, we have Benita, we also have Prince, we also have Merch that pick the three Black Evil, but I find it twist. Prince picked the right Evil, but they have to pick someone for immunity that very good. And guess who Prince picked? He picked Alex. So, Alex and Dorin are free. For eviction this week. And normally we have what we call pardon me, but there's another twist in the pardon me again this week. Then that's okay if you are scrapping out pardon me, but all the house will come to what after the other to complete house me for this field of eviction. So all they are planning because they're planning to you know uh, pardon the lady and this lady has been made of truth this season. I told the highlights of it for this season, trust me or not. He's, she's just playing this game gradually and getting into the final of the season. So those up for eviction, first eviction this week, we have someone like um 
We have Adekunle, we have Shea, we have Angel, we have BK, we have Ferret. These are all for us television for this So guys, this is what's gonna happen for this week. Hopefully, EK or Shea, I think on the bottom three for the white team, they will be the for this week. So we them all the best of the world. And hopefully very soon, they will speak. I know that Carlos passed away, but it's gonna give a lot of amazing things happening. They have all the gossips that's happening. The product is giving and dropping one after that. Okay. So let's keep waiting. What's gonna happen? Probably the product will take something this week. Talking about CC. CC has become a lot of controversial this season because no one said that we know is always shouting, quarreling, and all that. But she's gonna be calm. Yeah, calm. This is what we're expecting that hopefully when we get to that to the final, she bring up her color. And Perez said that guy and bring up my color pack this time because we don't want to mess it. So Perez bring up all that amazing stuff for us. This week here on the people that I enjoy us. So as we get more information on what's going on the people that I enjoy, get all the explicit graphic down to your TV screen. So without the color to wrap here on e corner right here on Twitter and Prepare. So keep following us on all our socials. Our Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, and TikTok right there are the bottom of your screen. So I'll come away next time for something exciting and fresh here on e I'm still your host. My name is Manny Michael, you're not a part of the team, and for all of us here, it's time. Welcome to Movie Review here on Stream Africa. Well, in case you're looking for a film to watch this weekend to ease off the stress, the hustle and bustle of the week, I recommend Jagun Jagun, which means the warrior. We are asking what the film is all about. Jagun is all about the story of a young man who determined to become a warrior. He now said, okay, let me join this, you know, this elite, you know, group to become a warrior, they're able to stand and fight for my people. But unfortunately for him, he had a problem with this warlord and also fierce woman. It's really an amazing story for me. You may have to go and watch this film. Well, Jagu Jagu was written by Femi Adebayo. It was also directed by Tope Adebayo Salami and also written by Dekola Tijani. These are great names in the industry. Wherever you hear their name, you want to come to watch the film. Talking about the cast of this film, really amazing cast on this film. Guys, you need to watch this film. I'm telling you, in case you don't know what I'm talking about, we have the one and only there, Ade Dimeji Latino is there. We have the Ademoyo is there. We have Mr. Macaroni is also there. We also have Patia Balogun, a host of other great actors in this film. And what about this my love so much is the costume. I love the costumes, the effects of this film is off the flick. So let's take a look at the trailer of this movie. We'll be right back. And everybody's all jacking on this film. But there is something you know about Jabu Jabu in the film, talking about behind the scenes. There are five things I will tell you about this film. You know. The first one is it took them 45 days to shoot this film. Yes, unlike our normal Hollywood films, one week, three days, everything was done. But they took their time to shoot each scene, and it was really amazing. 45 days to get it done. The second part you don't know about this amazing film is hmm, you want to know about the second part for me. Talking about it took uh, all the male actors three months to hit the gym to put their body in shape because the warrior scene you want to be you know in line with that warrior to build your muscles and also able to play your role. I mean, I think we're beginning to see the direction of the Hollywood films because each character you have to you know go through the process to free yourself to get into 
with your character. That's why it took them three months for the men to put their body in shape and to shoot that very soon. That's quite really amazing for me. Another one you don't know about the same is that the producer of the same sold some of his properties, never to raise funds for this. Yeah, this is a big budget movie for me, in case you don't know, it's a very big movie. So he sold some of his properties, able to fund this film. But trust me about it, it's worth it that you make a money three points of time so that about times. I know, but I'm very sure about myself. Now, now what you've done about the same guys, mm, the say that security took the chunk, you know, bunch money for that set for me. The security because the location of the film, I think, is in a remote area and they need to, you know, secure the lights and properties of the actors and also the crew members. And I must, I must commend the producer of those because making sure that the life of your actors and the crew members are intact is very, very important. So the security took chunk of the funds of this film which was shooting for me and it's quite really great one for me now the fifth one let's get the fifth one one of the lead actor in the scene at the point you know he broke his leg talking about lacti at the age of yes in the process of shooting the film i mean this is what our actors and actors go through we're about to put something on our screen so all the wonderful actors out there and actresses it comes up with a job well done and come into the good place you know how to do so that is the five facts about the scene you don't know now the question is Given the rate card for this film 1 to 10, what would be your rate card? For me, I would give Jago Jago 8 over 10. Because why? The scripting is there, the directing is on flip, the costume, the actors, the acting is quite really amazing. So I give it 8 over 10. So what is your own rate on this film? You can just drop your comments on your comment section below. And also talking about the hype. This film was hyped a lot. Do you think like, the hype is worth it? Or it's for the lower standard. For me, the hype was worth it for me. So, what do you think about the hype of this film? Is it okay or not? Go and watch the film and also drop your comment on the comment section. Also, give us your great card about Jago Jago. So, that's how we call, call it a wrap here on this amazing movie review on Jago Jago the World. So, continue to follow us on all our socials our Facebook, our Instagram, our Twitter, our link, and also TikTok account for more exclusive and amazing content coming your way here on Stream Africa. And I remind, remind your host, my name is Michael Young. Have a lovely weekend and bye for now. Hello guys, our lovely viewers and fans that have fantastic good news for all of you. Just come closer. All you have to do for you to share our posts, our videos, like, comment, and tag five persons and stand the chance to win 5,000 naira each. 40 persons will win some amazing money. It's not interesting. So what are you waiting for? So pick up your phone, like our post, comment, share, and tag five persons to follow us as well to stand the chance to win the sum of 5,000 naira. Very easy. Ask the whole. That's just free money for you. Just to take care of yourself and to make something better for yourself. <laughs> Hello lovely people, welcome to another exciting one here where we unlock all the juicy and trendy stories on the East Faces and this is Econa right here on the Stream Africa and I am your host, my name is Michael Young We have amazing stories trending on the social media platform in case you don't know we're talking about amazing Hollywood actor who just rock the marriage on a very hard road guys for me sad one for us but life continues we also saw as shake beating the video and other people to clinch the album of the year we also have ek and also shane living the brother house this time for the pt money you know, the show must go on and also the 2023 miss universe is back here in Nigeria. These are all that exciting stories. And we have good news as well for all our lovely viewers out there. So just stay close to the end of the show. Let's go on the break and when we come back, you get all the exciting stories in detail. So don't go nowhere. Hello and welcome back from the big reader right on on my first story. A popular Nollywood actor, very good looking, tall and handsome. The marriage just hits the rock recently. Talking about Bolan Lee Fina Ulua. Talking about this young man, a very handsome, very talented in his craft. But recently, we saw on his Instagram page on the 1st of September that he's done for the marriage. We could remember vividly well recently on an interview granted by Chidi that he said that he had cheated on his wife on several occasions. So he had to take some break off to fix the family. But who knows what happened? Maybe he did not work out anymore. And we saw on the Instagram page that the marriage is over. You know, trust Nigerians, he said something, please, which guys should obey and respect our decisions. But Nigerians are not specialists on marriage, 
relationship in our five six what would have happened that led to the end of the marriage so guys in case you don't want your story to be trending please don't break it on the social media because if you do trust nigerians we are good we give your advice even whether we are specialists or not trust me and i love that part of nigeria to make things going on for us i will kill ourselves for this government share things have with this because of our stress here in the country now that all right moving on to my next story talking about the 2023 Hades award has come and gone it was held on the 4th of september 2023 at georgia united states of america you know there have been a lot of issues about this Hades award you know recently it was normally held here in nigeria but after last year, it was held in the United States of America, and this year again, and people have been complaining, why are you guys doing this? I mean, this is Nigerian content, where we try to encourage and celebrate with our talking good work for us in the music industry. So we're taking it out, bro. Come on. All the revenue we have gotten here has gone back to them. So what, what's going on with these people? Please bring it back home for us because we need it. Yes. This year's edition, we had amazing wins for Ashake. He also cleaned the album, music album of the year and also the next rated award. I mean, he did what they do and also put them for the this award. But I say congratulations to you. And for this thing, uh, host towards our lovely Nollywood actress and also we producer talking about for staff. She was the good and also did it along with an American music model and also a movie actor talking about Trace J. They were locals for the season and we expected a lot of you know come back hopefully last year. So let's take a look at some of the awardees of this year's award. <laughs> Now moving on to my next story, the Big Brother Ninja All Stars guy is getting quite really interesting every day here on the show in case you've not been following. Let me give you a break of what happened last week. You know, last week was full of kind of chaos here and there's fighting among the housemates and every other thing. But guess what? We saw um, Alex, we saw uh, EK fighting. And there was a strike for them by the brother. We also saw Pere and also, also saw EK, also Kunai, one or two things, all the brother. And people that also played it and brought them to book. Now, the shocking thing about this week eviction was quite really crazy. We have four houses left the mansion. Why? Why people? Why are you doing this to us? We saw EK and also we saw the amazing shade also left the house this week. And also, the two guests from people the house left, talking about Prince and also Lucy. The last the mansion. Now, let me give you something about this year's season if you don't know about the people that house. Remember, it's the all star season and the house they have already made stars already. So each week they stay in their house, they have the chance to win 300,000 naira each house. Let's say, for instance, for the six weeks now, each house has a sum of 1.8 million naira in their account. I mean, that's the win for them. Even if you don't win the actual prize of this year, you win 300,000 naira every week. As far as you are not evicted from the show. I mean, that's the good news for everyone. Don't you think so? Well, this is going to find out who become the next HOH and also who will receive those people not being up for possible eviction here on Big Brother. Like I say, it's getting worse every here on this amazing season. Now, let's dive into the beauty world. Talking about the Miss Universe Nigeria has kickstarted this week here in Cam. Talking about the 37 beautiful ladies all over Nigeria came together to compete for this amazing prize. So in case you know we follow you, just take a look with us on all our social media. We'll get you up with on what is going on on this amazing beauty pageant. Don't forget the grand final comes up this weekend. And trust you guys, Stream Africa, we got you covered. Getting all the exciting glitz and glam to your team this way. Now, I want to say something very interesting. So we saw a picture during the weekend that was actually trending. When it comes to the music industry here in Nigeria, we have Bonner Boy, we have Kasha The You want to dress at times, you imagine where did they get that outfit from? So, this particular outfit, I want to show you this outfit. So, he told me Bonner Boy or Kasha who will rock this outfit more? Let's take a look at this. <laughs> That was amazing, isn't it? So guys, don't forget, you think Ashake will rock this better than Bonner Boy. You think that Bonner Boy will rock this outfit more than Ashake. So just give me your view and drop your comments on the comment section below. So we now to come to the end of this week, E-Corner right here on Stream Africa. Keep following on all our social media platforms there. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, TikTok, and also subscribe on our YouTube channel for more exclusive and amazing content coming your way. So I'll see you all here on this corner. My name is Michael Young. Have a fabulous day and bye for now.
Alright, hello lovely people, welcome to the next exciting to Wendy here on the movie review on the Stream Africa. Guess what guys, it is TGIF take on this Friday. Whoops! I'm super, super excited when everybody this Friday because it's a time we take off from the hustle and the bustle of the week to, to harass and also visit loved ones and then to practice and some little, little family meeting and also to relax with friends and families. And I imagine the film you want to watch this weekend guys, for the movie review, I have an amazing film for you. A bag of trouble. Hey, the title of the film like A Bag of Trouble. Well, what do you have to expect from this film, guys? Okay, let me give you some synopsis of this film. A Bag of Trouble is a comedy that explores, you know, about um, faith, poverty, you know, human mind. This is about this young guy, you know, whose you know life could come to a halt after a politician gifted him something. What would that be? You know, trying to pursue your life, you know, things are going up and down for you, and all of a sudden, you met this politician that gave you something, and that's where your genius of trouble started. So, what is it all about? So, let's take a look at the trio of the same. We'll be right back. Hello. See you. I did that. He said, I don't get money. 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 Oh, you just don't forget. I, 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 I will give you. No, I don't get money. I don't get money. I did not for I mean, I tell you, say, I say, I'm not going to die. I come out. As I did, I said, I'm a big man. Oh, yeah. If I don't get some money, you'll have to go see the way my brother. He's the only rent. Hello. 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 Wow, that's really amazing. Where you have stars, this like Jiddy Kosoko is there, Mr. Sabinus is there, Brother Shaggy talking about this amazing Mr. Saka is also in this. What do you, what, what, what do you expect to do, you guys? A lot of drama, a lot of comedy. You will laugh and laugh and laugh at all your problems. But the important point to pick up the lessons in this film, not just to laugh. Away. There's a lot of moral lessons to be learned in this film. And this film was directed and written by Michael Chimax, and also it was produced by Colin C. Miller. That could have owned the space. So, they are a wonderful masterpiece for me. You know, the lovely story with the comic, you know, fusion in it for you to ease up your stress and learn and also to learn from me. You know, not everything that you see that you just call it say thank you. What is the brain behind the gift given to you? That's very, very important. Who is giving you that gift? So, be very, very careful that what this film is portraying for you. So, guys, don't have to collect anything out there from people. Be mindful of those you collected from. It may, it may either ruin you or actually mar you. Who knows? So, go out there and watch a bag of trouble. Of all these scenes, bro, Shaggy, those films, Mr. Bidis, and Mr. Saka, you look for me. I mean, you know, it's an amazing boy to go there and watch. At least watch it and enjoy your weekend and ease of all your stress. Very, very important. Don't forget, this is weekend, though. Use your weekend, have a good rest, have, have a good nap, meet, meet the loved ones, and enjoy the rest of your weekend. That's, that's what we have for you here on Stream Africa. So that is all we have for you here on the movie review. Don't forget to keep following us on all our social media pages, our Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, TikTok. And please subscribe on our YouTube channel there at the bottom of your screen. Don't forget to always like, share, comment, and also tag five persons to win 5,000 here on this. It's very easy now. You pick up your phone, just like, share, tag five persons, and win 5,000 Naira. So to have come away next time here on another amazing movie review, I'm still your host on this corner. My name is Michael Young. Have a lovely weekend and please stay out of trouble and bye for now. Well, hello and welcome to the exciting one here on Econ. Where we get you all the latest happening stories in these places. We have wonderful stories ranging from Kim Opera, though he's evicted from Bibra Ninja All Star Season Edition. We have Toyin Lawal react to Lit Team 
threatening legal actions against perpetrators. We also have Rema hit single Countdown reaches 1 billion streams on Spotify. Except talking about Nick Minaj host and perform at the 2023 MTV VM Awards. And Bono Boy is among other artists selected for the NBA 2K24 soundtrack. We also have an amazing photo about JBB Naji, Resort Faces in Toronto. I mean, that's a very good one for us here in Hollywood. Talking about the former MBGN winner, Ugochi Reza wins Miss Universe Nigeria Medal Edition 2023. We have our fashion tips and also video of the week. But first, let's go on the break and pay some views. And when we come back, we get you all the exclusive stories in detail. So my name is Michael Young. Go we'll right back. So stay tuned. <laughs> Well, welcome back. Now to the stories in details. The BB Niger All Stars House, we're talking about Kim Okre and the way they have been evicted from the ongoing Big Brother Niger All Star edition. I mean, after the, the strike they've been doing here inside the house, talking about him and Perry have some little misunderstanding and they nearly have some physical fights. Then also, our BB Niger guest, Kim Okre, has also left the mansion and leaving some amazing remarks with a love triangle with Perry and Cross. But it's really an amazing one for me because I'm loving all the G's and all the tweets in this season of Big Brother. Because once the parrots sing song, they trust with all this kiosk in their house, and that was happened during that time. And also, as don't forget that it's still 120 million is off for grabs for this season. Moving over to the Nollywood industry, a popular Nollywood actress, Moya Lawal, has reacted to the leaked tape involving her and an unclosed, undisclosed lover that went viral on Saturday. Hmm. Taking, you know, that on her Instagram page, she said that he never gave any go ahead for them to release that video. I mean, for them to do it, that means that without our concept, they're going to sue them to the law court. But the question from Nigeria saying that, come on, you're a girl, this, before the video came out, even the video initially that you don't know what we're going to say about the whole thing, all of a sudden the video came out online, so probably you know what went on before the video was released. So let's go what will happen in the lawsuit saga. Talking about our music artist, Rema is on the news again for a very good one. He just hit 1 billion on the stream of Spotify. Come on, guys, it's really amazing for me. Don't you think so? It's a milestone for Africa, for Nigeria. We are proud of our people. So, say thumbs up to Rema. I will pray for more wins to come in the future. And that's the music cycle is calm down. I hit the 1 million stream on that Spotify platform. So that's a great one for me, and I'm loving the good news of this particular story. Moving on to my next story, Nicki Minaj, an amazing American rapper, will host the and perform at the MTV Awards 2023. Don't forget that Nicki Minaj has been honored with this award for two times, and this will be the third time he's winning this award, and we will also anchoring the show. But it's a big one for this big artist because she has carved an inch for herself in the music industry, not only in America, but also in the global world. And don't forget that this, for her to perform and also go to show, is a big one for her because she has been in the industry, she has won this award six times, but in this category, this will be the third time she's winning this amazing show in the category we also have you know Drake who have won this you know twice in a row so wish them all the best of luck why and what comes up get you all some exciting stories behind the scenes and also the performance as well on that very particular one now talking about our much loved Nigerian filmmaker and actress Genevieve Inanji is back to take on our screen again oh we're loving this you know after the you know, lion's heart she just started from the scene the next story she has some little mental issues and now she's back with this amazing fame talking about I did not come to you by chance. That's the title of the film she's coming on. So she's currently trying to premiere the film and for them to, you know, to look into the film before it comes out officially in the market. I'll have great actors, great actresses in this film. Guys, I can't wait to say this because once she dropped that, that film on her Instagram page, a lot of Nigerians are happy about that. Her fan, we are wow, where have you been over those fights? Finally, you will back for something to look forward to on this your new film. So guys, let's watch out for that film coming out soon. Now, in a history moment for Nigerian Beauty Party, talking about, you know, Miss Universe 2023, the maiden edition, talking about Uwuchi Michelle Iweze has won this pageant. Remember that she won the Most Beautiful Girl in Nigeria in 2017 and her winning this one, making her the first, you know, female or in Nigeria to win this, you know, dual award. Congratulations, girl. I wish you all the best of luck as you present Nigeria internationally as Miss Universe pageant coming very soon. I hope that will bring back the crown here in Nigeria because we need our crown because ever since we've done the go, we never win them. Only in top 15, top 10, they will drop us. But well, hopefully this time we're going to win the crown. Maybe carry the crown of first 
or second but either way bring the crown back to me so we're expecting that from you now we're about to go that boy you know but this time around on a very good note i'm loving this particular new talking about the mda 2k24 album and standard that was just released his name was there i mean it's a good one for us for nigerian artists you know but i do one of those with that expects our music internationally making good names and good ways for us here in the world i will say congrats for that being part of this a very big one for you and also a landmark also in your achievement as a music artist here in nigeria even at the world globally now we're talking about an amazing story that will come to you that will be shortly after this break talking about our fashion things and video of the week so stay back with the right all right welcome back moving on to the uh, fashion tips for today. I'm going to look at some little aspect I don't really know. I'm talking about cap. We have different caps. We have the face cap. We have the okay cap. We have the normal one for all and all that. But we're looking at the offia, offia cap called the okay cap. You know, we wear this cap wrongly. I don't even know how to put it on and all that. But now let me educate you guys. Now, for the married guys, how to wear this cap? When you put on the cap, you turn it to your left hand side, you bend it. To this side, if you're a married person as a guy, then if you're a single guy, if you wear the cap, you just turn it on the right hand side. Are we good? If you don't know all those things, I'm trying to educate you. Then even if you want to, yeah, if you have another one you want to attend to, all these are yeah, as you be cap, the same thing for the married guy. Let the cap get to this length for you, then you bend it to your left. Then for the single guys, let the cap get here, then you bend it to your right. So these are little things you don't you just don't wear cap because people wear it out. Ask the meaning. For wearing that cap so for a single guy bend it to your right for this for the married guys bend it to your left so that's my fashion tip for you here on this week now moving over for the video of the week i love this video so much you know for our gen z ladies you know that pray for husband you see the list of wishes and imagine we have the case of husband in nigeria in this world safe is it possible let's take a look at this video we'll be right back dear lord i need a husband and to be precise, he must be a God-fearing man with a touch of Yahoo Boy vibe. He must be very rich and influential like that of Aliko Dangote and Femi or Tedala. And his source of wealth, very pure. He should be from a number of state with a British accent, but a beauty like that of Anthony Joshua the boxer. Broad shoulder, chiseled abs, hard nipple, clear skin, pink lips, white teeth, and a skin color like that of a black American. Not too fair, not too dark. And at least six feet, two inches tall. He must be fun to be with, tolerant, and most important of them all, generous, especially to me. Lord, I don't like stingy men. And also, I love attention. Oh, how do I even forget the other room? Mm -mm. Lord, he must have the power of a horse, the vibe of a peace star. And his machine gun, of course, AK-47. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord, this and many more, I pray. Amen. Amen. <laughs> that was amazing, isn't it? So, for all the Gen Z single ladies out there waiting for husband you want to marry, God, give me this, give me that. I just hope he come to you because the way the world is going to write down, things are very, very hard. I just want a long thing. So, if all your wish is from 1 to 20, I just hope that you get your wish. But for now, things are very difficult. So without the video of the week, we can call it a wrap here on eCorner here on Stream Africa. Don't forget to keep following us on all our socials on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, TikTok. And please subscribe on our YouTube channel for more exclusive and wonderful stories coming to you. And please don't forget to keep liking, sharing, commenting, and tagging five persons and stand the chance to win 5,000 naira for four lucky persons. Very easy. So if you're here, you pick up your phone and start doing that right now. So until I come away next time here on ePod, I remain your home host from the show. My name is Michael Young. Have a wonderful week and bye for now. Hello guys, yeah, we are back here on the street of Lagos. You know how we do it here? This is Street Pop, which you hear from Stream Africa, guys. We have a very exciting question today. Just listen. You know, looking at what is going on in Nigeria currently, they asked to give it a movie title. What will be your title? Exactly. You know, things are going on. The first car city here and there. The increase in Naira. Everything is going on. So what will be your movie title to give what is happening currently here in Nigeria? I'm still your guy now. My name is Michael. Let us go on a break. And when we come back, we hear the reactions of Nigerians. 
on this matter. We'll be right back. So guys, we're right here in the street of Lagos. I have this beauty damsel here with me. It's just a very simple question. If you, are, if you ask to give a title in a movie, what's going on in Nigeria now? What would the film be? Um... <laughs> okay. Mm. Some, they struggle or they struggle to survive. No, struggle to survive, something like that. Struggle to survive. Mm -hmm. why, why, why do you pick that title? Let me just get it. Uh -huh. Oh, I don't know, but the way they hold, I don't know. <laughs> please, please, I don't know what to say. Looking at it, what is going on in the country uh, recently now, if you're asked to give it a movie title, what would the title be? Shege Banza. <laughs> oh, damn it! So, oh, 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 so why that Shege Banza? I, I'm, I'm loving this. Uh, Okay, the increment of things is getting crazy. Transportation is just getting worse. So we just hope things get better. Hope, but reality of it right now is Shege Banza. <laughs> I'm loving this. Shege Banza, thanks. I have a young person here, a youth, the future leaders of this country here with me on the strip pub. So very, asking a very interesting question today. Like now looking at what is going on in the country and you're asked to give him a title, a movie title. What would, what would the title be? <laughs> Wala House. Wahala House, damn! So why Wahala House? Why did you pick that caption, Wahala House? Because this country is filled with problems. Like when I say problem, the problem can't be solved now. Ah. I swear, it can't be solved now. Problem, Okpa, Okpa. So thank you so much bro for that, I'm loving that, thanks. Another that young chap here with me, still here on the street vibe, here on Stream Africa. So girls, see, when asking this question, very important. You're looking at what is going on in the country, the every glass bowl. So if you ask to give it a movie title, what would the movie title be? Kiss. <laughs> I love this sound, kiosk. So why, why do you pick the word kiosk for me? Uh, different. <laughs> it feels scarcity and everything. Just chaos. It's chaotic. Ah, you got, that one goes hello, chaos. Come on, I'll go buy that movie. Shall they come out last, last? So thank you so much. <laughs> yes, I'm still getting exciting vibes here in the street of Lagos. Come on, guys. You know what we're talking about here? A very simple question. Looking at what is going on in the country in Nigeria, I have to give it a movie title. What would the movie title be, bros? Well, I think I would say ah, it go better, it go better, you know. This is why you see get for country, Sha. It go better. I, I okay. hope so. I why hope so. Not, why you pick that word better? Ah, because you know the government keep promising us, even our region keep promising us, you know, everything's keep promising us out there. Tomorrow you may be suffering today today if you don't get food to travel last last. As an African child, as Nigeria now, you got to also, you got to know say tomorrow. Uh, you go be optimistic, say you go up on any any. Guy, I believe you. We still believe for this country. If I, whether I like him or not, you go better. I mean, that movie go say shout. So thank you very much. Team Hotter here, right here on the street of Lagos. Look at the atmosphere, the serene, the hustle and bustle. This is Lagos, in case you don't know. So we asked a very simple question. Looking at what is happening here in the country, Nigeria. You have to give it the movie title. What would that be, man? Now, I'm local. Now, be the title where go give the movie. Because the way the country they go now, we don't get assurance that we we'll go meet up. Oh. All days don't come inside the sofa, you go better, you go better. When we go better, mm. make you not do something because time is going. Inside the journey, my papa die. Say you go better. Me now run the OC grade off of my head. So we not do something. Hey, Milokon, we are expecting your action for the country. The thing goes say, Shah, go say Milokon. That thing goes. Welcome to a movie review here on the Stream Africa. Guess what, guys? It is DGIF. Thank God that it's Friday. I'm super, super excited. Whenever it is Friday, because for the guys, in the last working day of the week, you take off time from the hustle, from the business, rest and be pampered and be taken care of. I'm asking for the movie to watch for this weekend. Have one for you. Guess what, guys? It is called The Black Book. Hmm, damn it. What's first come to your mind when you hear the word The Black Book? Emotional? Full of? mysterious thing. But anyways, the story is a very touching story, a very emotional one for the matter. Let me give you a little synopsis about this film. This film is about centered on a deacon whose son was actually framed up of kidnap. In the process, the son died and he now took the Lord into his hands to fight those bad people. Hmm, really interesting, isn't it? Let's take a look at the thriller of this film. We'll be right back. I sinned terribly in my past. God took away my son to punish me. I accept. 
You are the father of a dangerous criminal. But accusing my son of what he is not, that I cannot accept. Do you know what you have done? Why do you know so much yet say so little? I mean, who are you? There are some grudges that should be taken to the grave. Forget you do not have full control. Right now, you don't have full control. Now, which one of you? Kill my son. Hmm, this is what I'm talking about. Very emotional thing for me, if you don't know. Luffy was actually directed by Edith F. Young. It was produced by Edith F. Young and Kimi Lala. It was also directed by Edith F. Young. And one thing I love about this film is the cast of this film. It's a star student movie for me because you don't know. We have Shafi Bello there, we have Richard Damido there. We also have Sam Davy, we have uh, Akin Tola there. We have a whole lot of illest actors and actresses in this film. And trust me, the acting skills is top notch. You have to go there and watch this film and set me back later. That's not about this film, I've this before. So you don't see a little bit faulty for me talking about there's some parts in the film where we not get a little you know disconnect from the film. I don't know what actually happened there, but I think that was a little mistake I can see in the film. And for me for the costume movie wise, it was okay. They didn't do too much in the costume of the film. It was nice, the effect was on point, the acting from the major cast is very very okay. For me, overall for me, I'll give the film 8 over 10. So what will be your rate on this film? So please come and watch the film and give me your rate card and drop your comments on the comment section below. So with that, we call it a wrap here on the movie review here on Stream Africa. Don't forget to keep following us on all our social media platforms, our Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, TikTok. And please subscribe on our YouTube channel. They are at the bottom of your screen. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and tag five persons and win 5,000 Naira. Here is just like that, just for bonus for your weekend. So for me, for all of us here, so thanks for watching. Have a lovely weekend and bye for now. Welcome to another exciting one here on the e-corner right here on the stream Africa. Like they say, drink a cup of water and mind your business. The guy, I find this trending on the social media. I can't keep quiet. I was stuck it here on the corner. I'm still over here. My name is Michael Young. We have amazing stories trending right now as eating hot. And here are top stories. I am sound, spirit, body, and soul. Sales, Gucci, the gospel artist. Mm -hmm. David Rema will win amazing awards and they just completed the Afrima Awards 2023. Some Nigerians calls that pretty my over a video that is trending on the social media. I will not stop acting, say the lead pastor. Hmm. So the six categories will be on for the ongoing um, Amar Award 2022. We also have Benita Soman and Javine Victor for the ongoing All-Stars Deep Brother Niger All-Star season. We have an amazing video of the week. We have our fashion tips here. So let's go on the break and when we come back, we get the all the exciting stories to your TV screen. So don't go away. Hello, welcome back from that quick break that stretched to the stories and details. Talking about a popular and gospel artist, talking about Gucci, recently in the social media platforms, he was trending the rumor of his death. So he came on his on Instagram page to say, No, guy, I'm held and hearty, body, soul, and spirit, I'm good, nothing is wrong with me. He said that those people are just trying to do those things to chase clouds. So my question is, why would you chase clouds for someone's death? I mean, is it funny for you, or what kind of money you want to make from all this shit? 
So he said, please, I'm very good. Thanks for your concerns, for your quarrels, your messages. I'm hell and I'm hurting. Nothing happened to me. You know, guys, I begin to wonder how this country shot things they happen just because say you want to chase club, get followers, and be popular on the social media platform, and after someone is dead. Please, then you might be sued for that. You know that, don't you? So let's be very careful if you are chasing cloud chase for the good reasons, not on someone's death. Please, very, very important. I'm not another amazing story. Uh, during last week, I saw a video trend on social media about Pretty Mike. You know, it was kind of not really good composition for me. There were these lovely ladies with big boys there, you know, she was he was discussing, I was just touching them, I was like, we were like, what is going on? Pretty Mike, what, what is going on? What is this? And it was not it was, it's not even one person or two or two. There were many girls who were just and I just now came to him on social media and said, Please, this is my body of this. Don't you have respect for women? Why are you just talk to Come on, come on. These are leaders. Give, give, give them respect. Just respect them, even on the social media. Just try small. Can do that on the other side, but please, not on the public. So, Shisham Mike, pretty Mike, what is going on? So, please help us respect our girls. You know, our ladies are beautiful. Please try to respect these people. Please. So now, talking about the ongoing All-Star season of Big Brother Ninja, it's getting hotter, it's getting worse. Trust me, it's ending next week, Sunday. In case you've not been following, the bus goes the mansion, the ups and down. Let me give a little gist on last week. Talking about Venita and Adekunle. You know, they went on the romantic dinner. Normally, if you go for a romantic dinner, you know, you talk about things, I want to know you, you tell me about yourself, tell me about the future plans we have for the both of us. But guys, something went the other way, we are not even expecting. So they, they were eating, you know, they were just talking. So I didn't ask her, I mean, I asked her, you have fun, and what's, what's going on? What's going to have for me? And they were like, come on, let's just eat, let's just leave that after the house to talk about that. But they said, no, no, just talk to me, I want to know what's going on, what's going on? Where, are we? where is this ship heading to? Is it the permanent side or where? Let me know, I want to know. He said, just eat and drink. So at the point, he never done picked the fence. So I definitely now packed his drinks and his food that was leaving. Now, I'll be invited to you at the next ceremony of my son. And I was like, what is this? What's, what's going on? Ah, what's, what's, what's this? The guy just walked out. So he now came back to the man. People were asking, ah, where is Venita? He said, well, she's just she's chilling and she's resting. So it was really emotional for Venita. She came out, she was crying, it was well, calm down. But, but Venita, what, what were you expecting? This is a show. I mean, we all play try to get content. How do you expect them to sit down with you? It's not possible. The guy they play games. You try to understand, sister. This is big brother. After the show, if love continues better, but this one, you don't tell the stage has someone out there now. So. So sorry about that, Benita. I just take hands. And also during the week, also Benita made a statement that was sort of vulgar for the people talking about people of Benue State. It came for her. She said something that those from Benue State they use the women as gifts to their visitors. And it was it was it wasn't really taken uh, very lightly. The road petition to Big Brother. They said you must evict Benita out of the house. So probably that would happen that she was evicted this week Sunday. Someone was evicted, and also Angel was evicted out of the Big Brother Niger. And there are many now six houses get to the finals of this season. I mean, I'm not gonna everything about this show. So come Sunday, some will welcome with the sum of 120 million naira. Interesting, isn't it? So let's take it to a TV screen and know who and who are gonna win this morning because guys, you're gonna be lit on this edition. Now talking about the Afrima, you know Afrima is where we try to celebrate great people in the industry, you know the artists, you know that been doing great works for themselves. Like we're talking about the one and only Peace Ogechi and you will see where you know he passed, she passed on that was like two or three years ago and I'll thank God that the legacy that she kept behind was still being carried on. So the, uh, the show will be coming up uh, later next month. We're going to get some exciting details of the story about that particular one. Now moving on to an exciting story that really make me like, excited. People are asking questions about this. You know, talking about our wonderful actor, you know, recently, you when the father died, you know, the father was the general overseer of Fountain of Life, and now you know, they gave him the man to over to him. Okay, now you become the lead pastor of this church, and this one is a very good actor. So the question in the minds of people now, come on, how will this guy cope? Will he leave the acting skills for us to go and preach the gospel? Because acting is the first love ever. Been. So he said, you know what, no, I'm going to be the lead pastor, but I'm still going to act in my film. So they're not going to come because of the hairstyle, the dreadlocks. We're going to cut off the dreadlocks here, now the lead of the church and stuff like that. He said, no, my dreadlocks do not stop me from anything. I mean, it's just my heart, not my hair. So it's having a lot of controversies on the social media. People are asking questions, challenging this young man. Please come on, cut off the hair and face your pastorship or do this or do that. But come on, guys. It's not your business. Do not leave the guy. The guy has been an actor. They just give him this, but doesn't mean that he's not going to do this play this normal life. Let us let him enjoy his life and also still preach the gospel. Do not leave him for us. We like him like that. 
Now, moving on to the exciting story I love so much and about the fashion things for this week and the video of the week. Now, I have, have issues about this when it comes to guys posing on cameras to take pictures using your casual wears like the jeans and top. How you should snap pictures. The guys, they don't have good posing position to take pictures. So let me take a look at the other video on that go right back. Hey, to my nigga Park. Live my life as a thug, make up until the day I die. Live my life as a boss play, was even getting high. These niggas got me tossed and shit. I put the top down, now it's time to floss my shit. Keep your head up, nigga, make these motherfuckers suffer. Up in the pins, burning rubber. Now, talking about the anxiety you guys saw on the social media, this little boy who was normally when we're little kids now, when it comes to assignments, we don't like doing assignments, you know, we're just like, oh, mommy, please, I'm very tired, I'm very weak. So, this video caught my attention. You need to see this video of the week. Let's take a look at this video. Bro. I should stand up, Abby. No, mommy. Eh? Well, all the day is wrong. What, what do you want to tell me? I said my head is wrong. When you want to write, that's, that's when you know your, your, your head is crashing. Yeah. Right now. Right now. Yeah. All I'm mean, there, right. Mommy, down that way. Ah, all I'm mean, right. Mommy, down that way. That was amazing, isn't it? You know, if you are in that category, you understand you now. At times, you don't want to do that assignment, you just want to cry. You don't want me to go and sleep. Let me do that assignment for you. For this one, you must do the assignment. They don't for you. Wait for that one. Now, talking about the fashion for this week, you know, we really want to talk about colors. Yes, we have issues when it comes to colors, especially uh, the young people, not only the young people, even the married ones, how to blend your color and your skin textures as well. You know, we want for you to see a design on this on, on online or see it like outfit online. Another thing to know the color that suits your skin texture. We have the light skin, we have the dark skin. So now seeing a particular outfit on the social media, I was like, okay, I like this outfit. We now went and bought the same color and showed the same style. Come on, your skin color differs from the other person. And when now wear that and, and I come now look like see your masquerade. Sorry about that please very very important know your skin color know this color that blends with your skin is very very key and another thing your courage putting that outfit in your carriage how do you carry this outfit how do you carry yourself after putting this outfit now for the dark skin guy people i told them you have a lot of choice to play with colors for me you have you can play with the brighter colors you have the red you have the yellow you have the white you have multi colors to play with now for the light skin guys like me guys so sorry you are limited with certain things like you go for the dim colors you have the black we have the blue we have the ash but even if you want to play with the brighter colors very importantly please you must rock it very well the styling must be there the combination will be there you want to rock something like the red and the yellow please make sure you have a good fashion designer give you a nice outfit come out there and be bold with it but if you know that you cannot you cannot be bold with that outfit please don't go for those shouty and brighter colors because the light skinned people please your courage is very important you may show you may see a material of one million naira and you wear it nobody will notice you but someone will say material of five thousand the way you carry yourself and everything on the style people like wow i love this outfit so that's the essence. Your carriage is very key. The way you talk is very key. Your movement and everything. So most importantly, know your skin texture. Know the color of material that goes for you. Please don't wear anything because see them on the social media. Go for what suits your skin and at that moment. They're going out for an event like for the red carpet event. Please try to look a little, a little bit glam. You know, when I'm by glam, look some good, look a little bit brighter, you know, good styling and all that and carry your outfit. And when you step to the red carpet, please, if they ask you what you're wearing, in case you don't know, please tell them I'm wearing myself. Period. Don't kind of just get your ancestors on the red carpet, please, because the social media will carry it. When I ask you what, what are you wearing, and I'm wearing and, and Gucci, why are you wearing not even Gucci at all? The guy who bullets you on that speech on the social media. Please, they ask you what are you wearing on the red carpet, in case you don't know. Tell them I've tied myself to him. Save yourself the embarrassment. Please, I'm begging you. I love you so much, too. please. So, very, very, very importantly, Know what's good for you, know the color that suits your skin color, know the style that goes for you at every point in time. If you want to go on back that colors, please carry it and give us a nice color and a nice design on the various events you are going to. So we have to call it a wrap here on eCorner here on the Stream Africa. Keep following us on all our socials, our Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, TikTok, and please subscribe on our YouTube channel there at the bottom of your screen. And I'll see you always on this corner. My name is Michael. You have a wonderful week and bye for now.